I was on a skiing trip in Aspen. A little sudden, wasn't it? My life is a series of last-minute invitations. I'd hoped to make it back in time for Buzz's concert, of course, but I'm rather bad at keeping track of that sort of thing. You ever considered investing in a watch? Mm -mm. But I do accept gifts, Commissioner. When did you leave for Aspen? Just after you saw me at the hospital. When I got back to my apartment, the phone was ringing off the hook. They wanted me to come right then. Do you expect us to believe that you skip out on your boyfriend while he's in the hospital? There are better ways to word that, Sergeant. But you don't have to take my word for it. Check with any of my friends at Aspen. That's if they're still at Aspen, of course. By now, they may have left for San Moritz. Have you ever met any of Buzz Sims' family? <laughs> I'm not exactly the kind of a girl you bring home to meet Mama. Or hadn't you noticed, Commissioner? But as a matter of fact, I did have dinner with Buzz and his father one night. A real weirdo, that one. I'd be interested in knowing the kind of person you call a weirdo. You're sweet. You know that? Well, for openers, he was barely speaking to Buzz. He didn't approve of Buzz's music, it seems. And we ate by candlelight. Not because it was romantic, but because the old man had weak eyes. <laughs> Bright lights gave him a headache. And we hadn't finished the first course when he began to rage at me, accused me of ruining Buzz by encouraging his interest in pop music, as if I care what Buzz composes. I'm the girl who put up with blues for Sally M, remember? <laughs> Shaking that mop of white hair at me, he looked exactly like a shabby Beethoven. Long white hair? And a mustache and a beard, don't they always? Would you remember where he lives? He doesn't. He died three years ago. 